trying to hit the ball over deep mid off coming down taking the hand off the bat as he hits and all he succeeds in doing is giving a comfortable catch to Dean Jones at deep mid off that's his second catch and the second wicket to Holmes in this innings and if you chastise Carl Hooper then you must chastise the captain as well in the air he's out Taylor well again his footwork let him down Hones strikes again five for 198 It's going to be a run out here. Be run out. Dijon went for the run. Haynes didn't move. It's six for 225. Dujon run out for nine. For Australia and Alan Porter does the trick once again. The end of an outstanding innings from Desmond Haynes. Mark Taylor takes the catch. Alan Porter picks up the wicket. It's seven for 232. Haynes caught Taylor Bowl Porter for an outstanding 143. And just takes the edge, deflects a little, hits. Ian Healy's gloves and Mark Taylor who was going to his left had to come back to his right to accept the catch as Desmond Haynes gets a standing ovation from the Sydney Clear Ground crowd. confusion out there at mid on as Alan Porter does indeed get one up as Michael Marshall playing forward and I dare say that may have been the leading edge as well Indies in dire straits. And a appeal, and he's out. Caught. Fairly straightforward catch. David Byrne accepts the catch to give Alan Border his 11th wicket in the match, his fourth in the inning. The West Indies all out for 256 and Australia need 80 runs to win this test match.